6 mtp3 question number 30 in this question a narrow beam of light of wavelength 589.3 nanometers from a sodium lamp is incident normally on a diffraction grating of transmission type if the grating constant is 10 raised to the power 6 per meters the number of principal maxima observed in the transmitted light is what we have been asked to calculate now as we know that the grating constant is given to us as 10 raised to the power 6 per meters. So the grating constant in 10 raised to the power 6 per meters can be calculated as 1 upon 10 raised to the power 6 which is equal to 10 raised to the power minus 6 meters. Now highest order, to calculate the highest order we can use the formula E plus D equals to N max into lambda. So we can calculate the value of N max as E plus D upon lambda if we put the given values we will get 1.697 which can be approximated to 1. So the correct option here will be option D. Physics MTP3 question number 36. In this question, a series LCR circuit of resistance 1 kilo ohm and inductance 0.4 milli henry and a capacitance 100 picofarad and an alternating voltage source of 2.5 volts is given to us. Now we have been asked to find which of the following statements is or are true for the defined circuit. The options are the resonance frequency of the circuit, the RMS current at resonance, the RMS voltage across each element at resonance and the RMS voltage across capacitor. Now as we know that frequency of the circuit can be calculated as omega equals to 1 upon root LC. If you put the given values of L and C, we will get omega equals to 5 into 10 raised to the power 6 radians per second. The RMS voltage will be equal to 2 volts. The RMS current IRMS will be equal to VRMS upon R, which is equal to 2 milliamperes. Now at resonance, the RMS voltage across R will be equal to IRMS into R, which is equal to 2 volts. The RMS voltage across inductor and capacitor will be the same can be calculated from any one of the equation whether VL equals to omega L into IRMS which will be equal to 4 volts or VC equals to 1 upon omega C into IRMS which will again be equal to 4 volts so the correct option here will only be option B 70p3 question number 37 in this question it is given that the total charge of an atomic nucleus is uniformly distributed within a sphere of radius a now we have been asked to find which of the following given statements are correct now as we can see that we have the total charge of the atomic nucleus which can be calculated from the atomic number that is given to us which is z now we can apply Gauss law here and we can write for the sphere that e into 4 pi r square equals to q dash upon epsilon naught q dash can further be calculated as we know the total charge present on the sphere of radius small a is z e so we can calculate the charge present inside a sphere of radius r as q dash equals to z e upon a cube into r cube so the electric field that we will get should be equal to k z e r upon a cube now we know that electric field and potential are related as e equals to minus dv by dr so we can calculate potential from electric field as v equals to minus e dot dr which is the line integral of electric field if we put the values of electric field in this equation we will get the potential as v equals to minus z e r square upon 8 pi epsilon naught a cube plus a where capital a is a constant now at r equals to a v should will be equal to z e upon 4 pi epsilon naught a so we can write the equation of our potential as z e upon 4 pi epsilon naught a which is equal to z e upon 8 pi epsilon naught a plus capital a if we equate this equation, we can find the value of capital A as minus 3 by 8 ZE upon pi epsilon naught A. So the potential that we will get 
will be equal to k z e upon a bracket 3 by 2 minus half r by a whole square. So the correct option here will be option c only. 6 MTP 3 question number 39. In this question there are 4 statements given to us and we have been asked to find which of the following statements are correct for the electronic devices. Now as we can see the first statement is related to the dynamic curve. Now we know that the dynamic curve is the one passing through the different static curves and the curve which relates the output voltage to the input voltage is known as dynamic curve or the transfer curve. So the option A is the correct option. Also we know that for silicon and germanium dv by dt can, appro can be approximated as minus 2.5 millivolts per degree celsius and the reverse saturation current approximately doubles for every 10 degrees celsius rise in temperature we also have other formula for the reverse saturation current as i1 equals to i0 into 2 to the power t2 minus t1 upon 10 so the correct options here will be option a b and d